just become life-saving. And like when I have my bad days, when I have my grieving days, I just, I normally turn to art. Cecilia Forrester of Gilbert has always been an artist. All my life, I've been so artsy. So I was actually a barber for about, probably around eight or nine years. That in itself is an art. Like barbering is, is an art itself. But one day at work, she noticed some unusual changes. I actually started noticing my first vision loss symptoms like while I was in the barber chair. I just remember, um, just seeing like a black spot and it just kind of went from there. Forrester started losing vision in her left eye over the course of a few years. Her doctors were stumped. He basically told me like I have retinal detachment, just a spontaneous retinal detachment. There's really no reason for it, honestly. After countless procedures trying to save her vision, she was told there was nothing they could do. I got my left eye taken out. She thought things would get better. This eye started to go as well. I lost my peripheral vision on my left side and my right eye. Meaning she could no longer be a barber. I just kind of channeled that art energy into another, I guess, more canvassy kind of art, you know what I mean? With every brush stroke, she takes her pain and grief and creates something beautiful. I do have to get like super close sometimes to my canvas to like see what I'm trying to work on and everything. And <sighs> especially when it comes to like the bright colors and everything that I use, like it's, it, it's a long, it can be a long process. But I love using alcohol because it's so, it's so forgiving, you know what I mean? Now she's focused on becoming the best artist she can be, despite whatever challenges life throws her way. Look, but I do have my moments where I just want to cry all day because it is such a real thing. I don't mind going blind one day and I know it's probably going to happen. But it's not just the art that's changed her life. It's the new community of other visually impaired people supporting her every step of the way. I just love pretty things and like I love showing people what I can make and what I'm capable of, um, not just as an artist but a visually impaired artist.